Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Serpent in the Staglands. I'm your host, Bring It Dawn, and here we are at the over map? The overworld? The world map? Here we're just going to kind of uh, journey around until I find Emerald Metallus. Or anywhere else, honestly. I mean, any, anywhere to explore. First place I find, I'm going to explore. Even if it takes me to the end of the game. some wolves real quick get some some experience and an edible heart oh also before I started I kind of organized my inventory a smidge so it'll be so ridiculous to navigate did I get hurt probably not I doubt that wolves can penetrate my armor. Alright, let's head up this way. I'm gonna head towards the east here. Or sorry, the west. Or the west, depending on the compass you're looking at. Istakel console. Alright, let's go to Istakel. And see what awaits us. Oh, it's all snowy. Not what I expected, considering it was on the coast. Just goes to show me. Can I go this way? Slightly. It looks like it stops, though. Alright, nothing up there. Another dead head? Okay. Seems fair. Oh, maybe there'll be a bounty board here. Oh, a bunch of arbiters and settlers. A child. Uh, can I talk to the arbiter? I'll say I can. Yes, uh, I'm bound to the road. Anything I should be wary of beyond the console. We can only guard the town, which is safe enough, but leave and you'll see your share of monsters, for they are rampant in the forests. Mist imps and wolves rampage about, and Lele are reported to be seen in the forest, though they should be easy enough to dodge. Spirits too, mayhap, but not on the roads. Avoid Lev, for you'll find naught but raiders there. Nod and leave. Oh, there's something else I could talk to him about. Uh, what's the state of the town? Uh, bustling, is biz bustling and busy, as you can see. As you see. Jeez. Uh, growing with new settlers and refugees from Lev. More crime, though, and more travelers who think they can palm the wealth of others without notice. They found themselves sorely mistaken, and you will too if you don't keep your hands to yourself. I'm not trouble you. Excuse me. There was one more option. I think I was just leaving. Oh, alright. Sorry to bother you. Uh, sorry to bother you. You're a servant of the people. You should be willing to answer my questions. You get paid with my hard-earned taxes. Ooh, a pier. Or a dock. Or just a bridge. It's, like it's just a bridge. Dock workers. No, it is a dock. Very long dock. Hello. What is this is a watch. Okay, I can't go in. Can I do this? Ha! That's a watchtower. Look at that. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna have to go up there for a quest later on. This is a very long dock. Keeps on going. That's fine. Just keep on trekking, guys. Eventually, we'll reach the end. I hope. Hey, there's the end. And a path onwards. I kind of want to go back and, uh... I 
We can activate this one. Is the handle broken? The hit kind of looks like the handle's broken there. Compared to the other one. Hey look, the dock keeps going. Alright, let's keep following the dock, I guess. Maybe there'll be something exciting at the end. Like, I don't know, a billion emeralds. You walked all the way to the end of the dock, and here is your reward. All these other guys tried to make it, but just couldn't quite... Wasn't quite cut out for it. Labor. Oh, it's up here. Whole lot of nothing. Alright. Let's go this way. Let's keep walking along the dock. Let's go find more dock to walk. And voila! We've made it! Oh, no, no, there's more. There's more ahead. Alright. This place. This is not I can get inside. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm glad I walked all the way down here. Let's walk all the way back. Yes, yeah, let's, let's look at this one compared to. Yeah, this one has a full handle or valve. Whereas the other one does not. It's just like a little stick sticking out. If you want to find a merchant, maybe they'll have some good stuff for me to buy. Like some plus one weapons and all that jazz. So one that has a magical weapon is her. Is it a plus one? No, it's just magic. I mean, if you go by D&D &D rules, plus one weapons are magic. Listen, Baldur's Gate, because they can't be broken. So, that's at least loyal of the people that are with me are probably in the toll. So these two owe me because I bought them out of prostitution. He liked me because I could talk to him, whatever. Nobility. So I assume that means he's more loyal to him. He's just a mercenary. So I think if I could replace him. He's someone that has Spearhead currently. So I don't know how badly I want to replace him. So he's first to the fray. Alright, can't see anything over there. Now here's the inn. Hello there, Traveler. You look like you could use a full night's rest. <laughs> Excuse me. I am sorry. Alright, uh, no. I'm quite hale. I was just curious if there was any interesting gossip going around town. Ah, you've asked the right man, for I know all the secrets of the townsfolk here. Let's see. Teresa, the hermit, has moved into town. She strangled her new neighbor's chickens and lied when they accused her. Can't say they didn't deserve it, though. Pavel has always been a mis- has always been a miserly bore. Uh, anything else? More merchants coming through than before. We've been building so much after the councilors struck an agreement with the leader of the of Fodea Mayor that a town has grown by four or five times its size in the last year alone. I even built a gate like they have in uh, Leibs to keep out keep out outlaws and monsters. Uh, what was the trade agreement? I'm not privy to the details, but some kind of exchange for discounted lumber and sea access to their yards. They. They have more trees in, than grains of sand on a shore there, and have done well for themselves cutting and selling it. I don't know what we offered in return, but it must have been valuable, for there seems to be endless shipments of lumber driven down the sea to us. Uh, well, that seems miserable. You get used to it after long enough, your blood thickens, and you begin to appreciate the beauty and the stillness. At least that's my take. Others come because you can buy a plot of land for a song. They like the solitude, or mayhap they ran afoul with their former town. We're up and coming, though. You'll see. Alright. So I'm about to bed. Five emeralds. I think I'll pass for now. So I don't need to sleep, but I woke upstairs. Up on this chest. 
and open up this chest. Or not, I guess. Alright. Doesn't say that it's being blocked or locked or anything, it's just not letting me open it. So be it. I wonder if the trade agreement is worth putting in my journal. We're gonna let him say yes. But I'm not gonna do it. Oh, here's a shopkeep. Greetings, come in and warm your hands for a moment. The wind seems to be picking up. Uh, did you step in just to get out of the cold, or are you looking to buy some supplies? I'm looking for supplies. Rawhide boots, already got those. So, the regular leaf blade, and special. Cloaks, spring pouches, camping rations, they might be worth picking up. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know why I'm, I've been struggling to read the conversations in this game for the past few episodes. That's Pavel. He's the one whose chickens were strangled, right? Yes, I'm not in the mood for peddlers. Go away. I'm not a peddler, though. I'm a traveling merchant. I really wish to inquire about the town. I'm new here. Traveling merchant peddler. Spicer. I care not. I'm trying to slip I'm trying to slip my money from me with your broken wares. Everyone is so happy about all the new folks moving here and visiting here. Building homes with all, all the new... All the our new lumber. I think that's why I'm struggling to read. <laughs> but it just brings sly wretches like you, taking advantage of our new wealth. You seem rather prejudiced. Did someone steal from you or cheat you? Nay, I'm too clever. You won't see me dealing with peddlers. Freakish snake eyes and weird runes on their faces. No morals or loyalty to the land. Leave me. Go rattle your scummy wares at Teresa. She deserves it. Okay. Well, I appreciate your, uh, your hospitality. Let's go this way. Oh, uh, is this another dock? Well. Aren't we in luck? Because we are expert dock walkers. Now, let's go back over here. Finish exploring the actual town area. Then we can go walk on the dock. Is that... That's not how long that's going to take. Oh, that's Teresa. Hello. Stop right there. I had a trap on the ground. You'll step on it. Oh wait, no, no. That was yesterday. It already snapped up a chicken for me. Tasty morsel. One of Pavel's, I hope. I love watching that bugbear squirm. You're safe. Come closer. I appreciate the hospitality. I'm new to town and wish to know more of the area. I'm, I'm new too. You're barking up the wrong tree. My home is in the woods. I'm just a squatter here, selling my traps to all these newcomers. Do you make your own? Of course. I, I make them and I sell them to all the villagers here. They think I'm a brain addled witch, but they're happy enough to give me their emeralds to keep their the forest terrors at bay. Now, do you ever travel? I could use a scrapper in my caravan. I'll pay you, of course, enough to buy all the chickens as you desire. I might be good to get away. Cut off the supply of traps here. Cut off the supply of traps are here and keep demand high. I give you 100 emeralds and I'll be off with you. I can't make traps on the road, but I can set any that we bring or find. It's a deal. Oh, and if we find any fairy dust, I lay claim to it now. I may look scrawny, but I'm strong like an ox. I find myself most eager to see you in action. Let's be on our way. Alright, I want to see what her stats are, so I'm going to save. I feel like she's going to have a lot of uh, wood-wise. It's a deal. Alright. Let's uh, jump her out real quick. Alright, so still we'll go back to Quorum. I just want to see what she has. Six points. She's mixed between dexterity and strength. Explosive trap, so she uses vials. One point into crippling ooze. Is that it? Alright, so I think she starts off at a lower level than my other characters. Alright, well, I'm not gonna keep her.
Not interested in another vile thrower. Less people that use ammunition, the better. Though I do like my, my archer. But I do have her available to recruit if I ever decide I do want her. I didn't look at her uh, aptitudes. Oh well, I'm assuming that she's good with woodwise. Because of the traps and all that. That could just be prejudice. Like Pavel. This area really opens up. Constable. Yes, I'm looking for the local law. Would that be you? Ah, uh, you found it. Did you need something? Uh, curious as to what kind of crime you see here. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Theft and petty crimes. Not much murder. There's a sense of camaraderie in a bleak place like this. More crime these days with more settlers making homes here and more traffic. If you've been on the roads much, you'll see that we keep a tight ship around here. Uh, not much slips through our fingers. Indeed, it seems most orderly. Had a lumber worker delivering goods not long ago. Thought he'd skim a little profit off the top for himself. Well, I have an ear. I have his ear in my cabinet if you'd like to see. I'll tell you that sort of thing around here. Uh, see any outlaws in, in their part, these parts? Once in a while, but they know better than to get close to town. They tend to stray to Orf's Bridge and Quorum anyway. Warmer weather for sleeping in the woods. I was curious. I didn't see a bounty board. Was that because there's so little crime? Uh, I haven't been here long and I haven't had a chance to set one up yet, but it'll be here soon, believe me. This was little more than a few huts not long ago. Didn't even warn our presence. Come back in six months and we'll be all set up. Have a proper jail, too. See, I'm most industrious. Excuse me, I must be on my way. Alright, so they don't have a bounty board here. It's a little disappointing. Because I like bounties. Can I circle around the back here, or... Oh yeah, I can. Uh, well, kind of. Right, is this like the town hall? It's like an important enough building. Squire. And a bunch of settlers. Yeah, let's talk to the squire. Yes, uh, I'd like to speak with the counselor. He's not in the council now. You can come back another day and try again. Although, frankly, you look like you fell off of an ox cart, and I doubt he'll let you near him, near the hem of his robes. There we go. As you say, squire. You go in here. Nope. What about her? There we go. I got some mead. Because she has nobility, she can demand things of him. That's nice. Then, uh, I guess we'll go back towards, yeah, the docks. It doesn't seem like there's a lot to do here right now. I mean, I haven't explored the whole area, of course, but... So far, it's a little underwhelming. Didn't even have a, uh, a bounty board. There might be something I can do with Pavel and Teresa. I haven't figured it out yet. Might be worth putting in my journal so I don't forget about it. I'm assuming this is another dead end. Yeah. Alright. Labor. Yeah, so as of right now, there's only three NPCs of note here. One of them, I guess, can be a PC. Pavel, Teresa, the constable. I guess technically the shopkeep. So raft, or this is where they're building the dock. It looks like they're building the dock here. I just want to see if I can take that anywhere. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's take a look at the map after I click over here and start moving my guys back. That was a dead end. Some woods over that way, but I can't explore them. 
dock was explored. I wonder what's going on over here. Why can't I get in this big, big old building? There's not even, like, I can't click on anything around it either. So who knows? Alright, well, I guess we'll leave Istakale. I don't see anything else that I can do here. Went in there, talked to that guy, can't get in the door past him. These are all dead ends. I just go in this one watchtower, but there's nothing up, up at the top. That's where the shopkeep is. It's funny, they said they had more merchants, or a lot more merchants, but they only have the one. Doesn't really have anything of interest. Alright, let's uh, start exploring. We'll work our way back towards Orcs Bridge console here, then we'll shoot up here. Actually, I don't know how long I've been recording. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I'll probably, I'll probably keep going until I find another place to explore, and then I'll stop there and call an episode. So I don't know how long I've been playing. Oh. Oh, yeah, just go ahead and jump right in, big guy. Alright, well, let's, um. Go ahead and do this real quick. Oh. Boom. She's only fired six shots this entire episode. Has not been very eventful. Alright, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna start uh, going west again. I'm just gonna explore every panel. Alright, we'll go back this way. Head east. Actually, I kind of go east of these areas as well. Let's actually head down this way. Oh, actual Orcs Bridge, because that was the console. All right. Oh, this probably allows me to uh, cross that little patch of water. Oh, okay, we're already under attack by a lizard. Thanks, guards. Look at that. Coming to my rescue? I like this place already. All right, well, we're going to call it here. In the next episode, we'll explore Orf's Bridge. And um, hopefully it's more eventful than this episode was. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you there.